Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we installed UI library and we created shared module in our Angular application. And in today's video, we will create user DTO. And after this, we will create a method to convert our user entity to the user DTO. And at the end, we will create login API call in our Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to create user DTO. And to do this, we will right click on our attendance server package and we will choose a new package and we will name this package as DTO. And after this, we will right click on our DTO package and we will choose a new Java class and we will name this class as user DTO. And after this, we will annotate this class with at the rate data annotation from Lombok to get the getters and setters. And then we need to create fields in this user DTO. And to do this, we will open user entity. And from this class, we will copy ID, email, password, name, and user role. And then we will go back to user DTO and we will paste these here. And with this, our user DTO is completed. Now we need to create a method to convert the user entity to the user DTO. And to do this, we will open user class. And in this class, we will start writing a new method. And this method will return user DTO. And we will name this method as get DTO. And in the body of this method, we will create user DTO. And we will name this as DTO and we will initialize this with new user DTO. And after this, we need to set the data in this DTO. And first of all, we will set the ID. And to do this, we will write DTO and we will call a method set ID. And in this, we will pass ID. And after the ID, we will set name. And after the name, we will set user role. And after the user role, we will set email. And then we will write a return statement and we will return this DTO from here. And with this, our get DTO method is completed. And now we need to create login method in our auth service. And to do this, we will open auth service. And in this class, we will start writing a new method. And this method will return user DTO. And we will name this method as login. And after this, in the arguments, we will accept user DTO. And we will name this as user and in the body of this method we need to call user repository to get the user by email and then we will compare the password and in the case of correct password we will convert user into the user dto and return from this method and in the else case we will return null so in this project to keep it simple we will just compare email and password of the user and if it is true, then we will return user details. Otherwise, we will throw an error. So in the body of this method, we need to create optional user. And after the optional keyword, we will mention user here. And after this, we will name this as DB user. And then we will use user repository. And after this, we will call a method find by email. And in the params of this method, we need to pass the user email. And we will get this email by calling user dot get email method. And after this, we need to check the availability of our DB user and then the password. And to do this, we will write if condition. And in this, we will use DB user and we will call a method is present. And if user is present, then we need to compare the password. So after the end operator, we will write user. And after this, we will call get password method. And then to compare the password, we will call dot equals method. And in this, we will use our DB user and we will call a method dot get and then get password. And after this, in the body of this if condition, we will write return statement and then we will use DB user and we will call a method get. And then to convert it to the DTO, we will call get DTO method, which we just created. And after this, in the else case, we will write a return statement and we will return null from here. And with this, our login method is completed in the auth service. And now we need to create this find by email method in the user repository. So let's open this user repository. 
and in this we need to create a new method and this method will return optional and after this we will mention user and then for the jpl query we will write find by keyword and then we need to mention the property name which is email and after this in the arguments we will pass string email and with this our method in user repository is completed and now let's open auth service and as you can see the error for the method call got resolved and now let's run our spring boot application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create auth controller and then we will complete our login api and we will test it in the postman